Hello oh, there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are checking out Sub Level Zero Redo from Merge Games Limited. This, uh, from what I know of Sub Level Zero, this has been a PC game release previously. Obviously, it's gotten a release onto the PS4, and um, I, it has a very retro vibe to me because probably the first two PC games, well, first three games ever played were uh, pretty much, this is, uh, well, whenever I say first games I ever played, because I mean, essentially, whenever I had my access to my own PC to play them on and had my own games to play, it would have been probably Death Descent. Quake and Warcraft. That would have been my three. That was like the my trinity of games I played a lot of. And this feels and has been like essentially talked about it as being like almost a spiritual successor to Descent. So I'm curious to see if I can if I can make any more progress than this than I ever did in Descent because I was I was so young. I actually had made no sense of it whenever I was playing it. So let's see what we got here in the options. Uh, auto level. That'd be useful enough to see if I'm to bother. Invert Y. No, we don't need that inverted. That's one thing I always check when any of these fighting games is just the invert controls. Um, maybe it's just one of those things where I've just gotten so used to uh, playing one one particular way. I just can't. I can't get my head around doing the rest. Oh, FOV slider actually in the middle of this. That's convenient. Um, actually might take a wee look at that and pop that up a wee touch because I do feel a little bit more comfortable with a wider FOV. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, eighty six should be fine. Uh, should, I should probably play the game to find that out beforehand, but I'll be fine. I'll live. I'll live, I'm sure. So progress is listed here. And new game. Let's take a look. Um, right. So uh, there's multiple ships to even work from. Although I can only pick the one to start off with, but that's kind of cool. I actually like the fact that there is a nice variety. So I'm assuming we lock them, uh, unlock them as we play through the game. Uh, tutorial is currently enabled. If disabled, you can be re-enabled from... The... Okay, we'll continue with this. The tutorial included. And see if it's going to make any difference to me. No one remembers what happened or why. For hundreds of years, the universe has been falling apart. At the seams, whole solar systems vanish, reappearing light years away, if at all. Wormholes spontaneously form. Shears in space-time that swallow and weary ships and tear planets into an asteroid field. Humanity has scattered, strewn amongst the stars as disparate clans, having forgotten the majority of science and technology that was the fearsome sum of human knowledge. Most clans do what they can to survive as reality decays around them. Warlords prey on them while ruling over lawless systems, enabled by their possession of rare pre-event warships. But some clans seek out knowledge, hoping to understand and ultimately reverse whatever happened centuries ago. A scout for your clan, you've stumbled across an ancient facility in an uncharted system, hidden in an asteroid belt, ravaged by flux storms. The station is guarded by automated defenses, all the telltale signs of a final resting place of arcane pre-event technology. Through the thick interference, you contact the clan elders, wait for a task force, gather intel. You jump closer to the facility to get a much, as much information as possible. Too late, you realize the facility itself is the cause of the storms. <laughs> God, all right, continue on with this voice. The surge of energy as you exit the flux tips the unstable fabric of reality over the edge, tearing a hole through which the facility, asteroids, and your gunship disappear. Lost beyond reach of your small flux drive, your only hope and only option now is to enter the facility yourself in the hope that the technology within can get you home and perhaps help your clan understand why the universe is ripping itself apart. Fair play. Okay, so loading sub-level zero. Uh, assuming Dory show up on the map in bright green. All right, well, I'll at least give me direction. Okay. <laughs> How are we feeling? Can we see what we're doing? Engine initialized. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, there's the glorious fun. Oh, I remember this. Find the reactor on each sublevel. Destroy it to collect parts of the advanced flux drive. Travel through the portal to the next sublevel. Okay. So... First person, move up and down. Oh, there we go. Whoop, whoop. Oh, shit. So I'm not losing health for actually... Whoa. <laughs> That's the other thing, it was the actual... Um... 
Oh, it, well, that's boost, isn't it? Yeah. Old L. Boost. Oh, shit! <laughs> so, what is this? Roll? Um. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, you do. You roll like a 90 degree inclines. Fair enough. That works for me. Whoop. Hey. Um, okie dokie. So, modules, weapons, engines, and hulls, and repair kits take up inventory space. Press X to pick up. Yes, X. Pick up. Yes, I want to pick up. Why can't I pick up? Oh, sorry, I was pressing square. Oh, man, I was like, for some reason, I was actually pressing the wrong stupid button uh, to go to the inventory. Okay, and that's going to tell us where we can actually, like, select things. Okay, uh, we're fine for now. <laughs> cycle weapons, guns, uh, cycle launchers, ammo bars at the top and bottom. Boom. Cool. Cool, that's that sorted. All right, so we move on through into here. Oh, da, da, da. oh. die, you son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a bit of a throwback for me. Ooh, and you just pick up all the bits and pieces that come out of them. Yay, free tech, free weapons, free ammo. Hey, repair system initialized. Uh, you use a stored kit with tennis square. Cool beans. I'm going to hold on to that and not use it for a wee well. Oh, that door actually opened. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm not too sure about the um, the roll and rotation being on the D-pad. That's a bit weird. Aha! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Thanks. Blew your ass up as well. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, there's stuff to pick up. Oh, I just don't have the energy for those. Okay, cool. So, where am I going? I'm going to keep following these signs that lead me to ones and twos. Oh yeah, switch the map. Kind of useful. Where am I? Oh oh god, even the map's a little bit disorientating to maneuver around. <laughs> in, a, in a good way. In a good way. Okay, so yep, continue on where I was going. Whoop. It seems to be on the way to sub-level one. Oh, shit. All right, cool. <laughs> I thought there was actually someone still left there to attack me, but it was actually just the fact that I couldn't see anything else. Um, O1. So, do I want to go to O1? Whoa. This is mildly disorientating. All right, moving on. We're going to keep on our path to one. Oh, shit. Oh, man, this this really feels like almost identical to playing Descent from back in the day. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Stay the fuck away. Bastard. Uh, whoa! Huh. Well, pitching yawn away there, Grand. We're way down to three. Ooh, what's that? Hey, new crafting available. Continue on. Oh, oh no, not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh, shit. It's hard to tell or distinguish some of the um, parts from each other. What's that? Ooh, catalog decoded. All right, I cannot read that from here. That 
only thing is that I'm actually having an issue with in this game is the text is very, very small. Is that possibly due to my FOV choices? Oh, I'm wondering if that's actually the case. If the FOV is kind of like, it's since it's squishing everything to the center of the screen, that's actually stopped me from being able to read the context. Um, because I my screen is, whoa! It's a pretty far distance away from myself. Boom. Die, son of a bitch. And that's mine. So I'm assuming with cra new crafting available. Okay, so... Am I essentially heading back in loops here? So let's take a look into inventory here. Can I build new stuff? Oh, there's craft there. So what is that? Ah, oh, cool. Put that in there and equip. Okay, cool. Uh, that's that done. Um, all the rest of the stuff I imagine is just bits and pieces I have here. So, wow, do I actually have like a full range of weapons now? Oh shit, I do. <laughs> all right, these guys are dead. <laughs> Whoever's in the way. Oh, they're gonna die. Ooh. So does this essentially take me back in the route that I was just in? Oh, shit! Whoa! I don't know what that is. It seems to be getting more powerful wherever the fuck it is. Uh, what is that? Is that like essentially a glowing sphere of light that I've actually just gathered there now? Oh, well, that's more cool shit. Um, hmm. Hmm, I do not know what that is. I hope it is not something important. I do like having the more rapid fire sh gunshot though. Nice touch. All right, so I did that one. Oh, right, so there must be like some pathways that I'm actually unlocking through a series of doors. Okie dokie. I think I'm getting, figuring that out now. Oh. Through the other. Okay, so there's nothing in here for me to see. I mean, this essentially must be in the way I came in. Ooh. And that's one and two. And three is where I came in. Okay, let's go back down three and see if there's actually any difference. Whoa. I figured I, I can tell which way it's up by the side where the numbers are actually saying. Okay. That one's obviously two. And then that was one. That's where I came in. I come in here to two. Oh, shit. It's shit for me to kill. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. There's a lot of bad guys in here. I am so close to uh, running out of ammo. How do I actually... How do I craft... I, is that how I use these? Yeah? So is that how I use these health packs? Do I actually just use them? I'm try, trying to figure out if that's what I'm meant to do. Oh, wait, what? I'm starting to... Oh. Oh, confirm. Is my health going back up again? Because I thought it was actually affected by... I had square to actually bring it back in again, but I'm, but I'm not equipping these. Oh, those are holes. That's what that is. Back. Uh... Hmm. 
Uh, so I need to actually gain points to actually be able to craft more stuff. Aha! Eat my dust. <laughs> oh, I gotta love it. All right, so is that a way to go? No, whoa, a bit disoriented there. Nice, took him out in a single shot. Okay, oh, is oh, someone else shooting at me? Whoop. Okay, so where am I? This appears to be... Okay. Yeah, that's some kind of glass, but there's a parkour down there. So I need to get in there somehow. So I imagine it must be somewhere out this way. Yep. All right, cool. Some shit to steal. Oh, yes. All right, so this is the way I get in here. Oh, yeah. Oh shit, there's things in here with me. Um, bye. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah, take that bit with you and take all the other stuff with you, too. All right, cool. Is that another one of those little bubbly balls? Oh, damn. Okay, does that was that actually okay? So I can take one thing. Plasma regen, bullet regen, spray and prey. Fire rate is slightly uh, improved, but accuracy goes all over the shop. Adds a small amount of bullet regeneration. Um, adds a small amount of plasma regeneration for your gunship when uh, ammo is low. All right. Well, I suppose, I mean, essentially, I would like to increase the fire rate, so I'll go with the spray and prey. So that was the first level of uh, sub-level zero. Man. Definitely feels exactly like I think it. Uh, like it, it definitely feels like a, de a decent clone or a decent kind of like not sequel, but uh, environmental similar. I could see this being really fun and extremely disorientating if you're trying to play it with a VR headset. But um, yeah, I could I could get really into that. Uh, Sub level zero, guys. Uh, that's a good game. That's an enjoyable game. I mean, essentially saw uh, the basic premise of combat and playing it. It seems to be a very chilled. And uh, slow, not so, you could boost through that and slam through it really quickly. But that was actually literally the first level, the first sub level of sub level zero. And it's um, it, it it's it's a, not a throwback. I mean, essentially, it's a style of game that doesn't exist anymore. That um, three D exploratory shooter that Descent was so good at doing. It was a true classic. Um, if you've never played any of those games, if you've never played any of that game style. But you kind of like shooters and you like the idea of being able to combat in three dimensions. There's a few games that are coming out soon that are going to be similar to this. Uh, that are actually multiplayer uh, PvP combat heavy. Which was heavily advertised for the PlayStation VR. Uh, this would be a good way of getting into that game style beforehand. I recommend giving it a try guys. Seriously, sub-level zero. Really enjoyable. Well, if you did like to enjoy my opinions here on the channel of uh, this video about... Sub level zero, make sure to hit the subscribe button up here in the top end. And if you see anything else over on this side that you like, feel free to hit on those as well. All of those videos are other stuff that I've made here at some point. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.